All right, let's do some mathity math. It says here, find the zeros to the quadratic by completing the square. Okay, we can totally handle this, um, and, and we can use this method they want us to use. That's no problem, but there's one thing we've got to be super careful about. Whenever we are tasked with completing the square, we, we only do this if our a value, you know, in standard form, we say it's ax squared plus bx plus c is 0. We only do completing the square if our a value is 1. So we can see here our a value is 5. Not to worry, we can handle this. We just have to divide out the 5. So what we actually do is just divide every term in the equation, even the 0, by 5. Okay, when we do that, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we rewrite it as x squared. Uh, 20x divided by 5 is 4x plus 4x. And then this would be 3 fifths, right? 3 fifths equals, and 0 divided by 5 is 0. Okay. Okay, and so to complete the square, there is one thing we do have to remember. We're trying to build perfect square quadratics. And to build a perfect square quadratic, we, we add in this little piece here, b over 2 squared. Okay? We add that in. That's the key to building our perfect square quadratic. And we're going to add that in right here. Now, I can't add that in right here uh, because I actually, this, this 3 fifths is in the way. So I need to subtract 3 fifths um, away from, from this side and put it over here so I can move on. So actually what I get is x squared plus 4x, and we'll leave that space, is a negative 3 fifths. Now at this point, if you're looking at this negative 3 fifths and, and you know that it could easily be represented as negative 0 0.6. You want to use that decimal? Uh, go for it. Uh, but there's also nothing wrong with just using fractions once in a while. They're, they're handy, and they're quick, um, and they're clean. So I encourage you guys to you know, stick with this for a little bit and just see what you can do with it. Okay, so coming over here, uh, b divided by 2 squared. Well, my b value is 4. So that's actually saying 4 divided by 2 squared. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 squared is 4. Okay, So I'm actually adding 4 to both sides. And remember, don't forget that it goes to both sides. It goes to both sides. This piece we're adding, b over 2 squared, I added it here and here, because that's algebra. You do it to one side, you do it to the other. OK. So now over here, we've done a great job of creating a perfect square quadratic, which is going to really speed up our calculating process. That perfect square quadratic just lets us know that I can rewrite this as, well, the perfect square of x squared is x. We bring down the plus. If that was a minus, we'd bring down the minus. Um, and then the perfect square quadratic of 4, I mean, sorry, the perfect square value of 4 is 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. Let me just square that. So x plus 2 squared is the same as saying x plus 2 times x plus 2. And if you foiled that, you actually would get right back to where you started. Okay, But now we have this all factored out and ready to rock. Now, coming over here, we have negative 3 fifths plus 4. So we have to remember um, to, to do our, our good math here. And we, we said, you know, if you want to write this as a decimal, that's OK. So let, let's just talk about that real fast. So looking at your calculator here, you know, if you had uh, a negative 3 divided by 5, a negative 3 fifths, if you ran that out, you do get negative 0.6. And if you feel more comfortable working with that, well, then go for it. But if this was a big, long, crazy decimal that had to be rounded, I would encourage you, stay with the fraction because it's more precise. Okay? But anyway, this one's a nice, clean decimal, so let's run with it. We have negative 0.6, but we got to add that 4. So you get 3.4. Okay? The reason I use my calculator here it's because sometimes when we involve decimals and fractions and negative numbers and an operation, we make mistakes, and, and those silly mistakes really hurt the process. So if you're not comfortable, there's nothing that says you can't use your calculator. I encourage you. Go ahead and use the calculator. Make sure you're on the right track. Okay? It's a good move. Okay. So here we go. Now we want to get this, this square to go away, and we know the opposite of a square is taking a square root. So I'm just going to take the square root of both sides, and I'm going to actually get... I can show you that. I'll take the square root of both sides. And so I'm going to get x plus 2, okay, because that goes away, is the plus or minus the square root of 
and we're almost done. The next step is, let me just scooch on down for you. The next step is we subtract 2 from both sides to get x all by itself. Let me show that. And so you have x is plus or minus the square root of 3.4 minus 2. And that will give us our two solutions. Technically speaking, your two solutions are right here in front of us, but that's really not can uh, give us a good visualization of where our parabola is crossing the x-axis. So we can actually uh, just do some quick math. And we can use our calculator to help us with this, okay? So we're going to say, all right, the square root of, let me come down so you can see it, square root of 3.4 minus 2. Well, what do we get? We're going to get, and that was our positive, we're going to get negative 0 0.156. I'll call it 0 0.1. Six. But now we have to also do the negative side of this. So I'm going to say negative square root 3.4 minus 2. So now I'm taking the negative side of that and I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to have, also I'm going to have a negative, and we'll just call it 3.8, negative 3.8. And these are my roots, my x's, my solutions. This is where my parabola crosses the x-axis. It crosses twice, once at negative 0.16, and then again at negative 3.8. Okay, as always, if you want to be notified when I make more practice problems just for you, please subscribe below. If you have any questions, comments, misunderstandings, something you want to talk about, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to get right back to you. Thank you. Bye.